We're going to go some old school magic. This guy is actually someone who is very influential. I influential? Let's try that again. Influential on me uh, uh, growing up and, and, and being interested in magic. And, and it's old school. This is the thing. A lot of people might not realize and not really think that I'd be into this uh, sort of style of magic, but I actually am. I was really into it. This is the kind of magic that I studied. Again, this is sleight of hand, manipulation magic. Please bear with the video. It's, it's, it's old school. It, was, it probably came off of like some old 8 millimeter, you know, crankety crank, then put on a VHS, then ripped off the VHS, made digital. So the quality is a little bit questionable, but what's up, Zoe Lords? What's up, Z? Z the man, it. the myth, the legend, a hero of mine, Cardini. This is Cardini. He, it, I mean, influenced so many guys that do sleight of hand and manipulation, whether it's close up or stage. The guy's a legend. He's untouchable. The best manipulator in the entire world. And he did it all with gloves on. He wore these dress gloves. You can see he wore like a really nice tuxedo top hat. He had a monocle. He had a little pencil mustache. I mean, the guy looked like some sort of beatneck artist if he wasn't wearing a tuxedo. Uh, but he uh he was he, he's a legend uh like i said a hero of mine and and he, he did this in like i was saying with this tuxedo with the gloves and a, a little little tidbit of information for those of you that are not magicians performing with these gloves on it's actually very difficult it's very uh if you, if you do something like that it's very uh it's like next level it's very respected it's next level it shows your dedication to skill and uh and 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 just time put in out of respect to the arts that's why you don't see it anymore um and that's also why i don't do it anymore i actually used to do a manip act with gloves maybe i'll see if i can rip that video for next week but that would also mean that i'm going to be showing you guys a video of me as a younger tot in my early teens let me have a think about that one. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But anyways, let's talk in more rock. Let's get into Cardini. Let me tell you a little bit about this act really fast as well. One last bit of tidbit. The whole point of this act, you'll notice he stumbles around kind of weird. He has these weird reactions because the whole idea of Cardini's act was that he's actually, he, he's drunk, basically. He's in this hotel. He gets paged over the intercom to come to the lobby and he stumbles out of the bar or the backstage and, and, he's, and, he's, and he's drunk, and as he's drunk, he's sort of hallucinating, and things are just happening to him. That's why he's behaving that way. It's not like he's, you know, uh, just had a stroke or something. Uh, he's, he's actually, that, that's the character he's playing. So, like I said, less talking more rock. Let's get on with Cardini, the man, the myth, the legend, basically the god. Check this out, Cardini. <laughs> Like I said, old school black and white. I love how there's the guy on the couch or that chair. He's oblivious. He's probably drunk too. He's been partying with Cardini. So look how he's stumbling around. So that bellboy actually is not a bellboy. That 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 bell lady is actually his wife. His wife would assist him as the uh, as the bellboy character. So you can see he turns to go away. So he just he just throws the cards away. He's on it. Yeah, I mean. Dude, the guy's, the guy's insane. Oh, oh Steve Lamps, uh, you like my manipulation? Yeah, that's great, thank you. Chat of Coke, Sam the Bellhop. What's up, Coke? Coke's in the chat. Yeah, I'm a fan and friend and member of the I'm using a new uh, I'm using a new system this week too, so bear with me. Thank you, Donna, for uh, for letting me know. Thanks, Rob, for letting me know. Uh, thanks, Eric and Lisa and Rylan, everybody. Thanks very much for letting me know. We're, we're, we're doing a, a whole new setup and switchboard system here that I'm uh, getting used to, so I appreciate that. A lot more inputs and outputs. Is, uh, is we can even bring Cardini down. And, you know, way down, Zach. 
So you see that he's, uh, you know, he's doing all this stuff with these fans and everything. And look, look, it, it takes out the monocle because the deck, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how well it's coming up. So I'm not sure if you guys are watching this on computers or on your mobiles or anything like that. But, uh, but the, deck, the deck starts shrinking in his hand. And, and so he takes the monocle out, he's looking at it. The, the, look, look, the deck keeps getting small. Well, sorry, you got to look at my name. It's all about the brand. But, uh, you know, and then the cards come back. Look at that, top notch. Top notch. And the, guy, the guy looks like a million bucks. Dressed sharp. Thanks, Kate Swanson. Melanie Skorpinski, I love it. Thank you very much. Kyle Fryman, no one comes to Cardini. He was one of a kind. Absolutely right. You are absolutely right. He was one of a kind. Like I was saying, the dude's a legend. Really amazing guy. He, his act is quite long. We won't watch the whole act, but I wanted to go ahead and, uh, and play this for you guys so we could highlight our section here of old school magic. Notice, notice that Alfred Hitchcock looking guy. He's still asleep. That, I want that guy's job. He just got paid to sleep. The whole act. Maybe some of you guys can relate as you watch my act. I know I can. Thanks, Amy Berg. I'm glad that you like this. Thanks, Lisa. Exactly, Eric. With gloves, it's 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 d near impossible. Ralph, this is a very good classic. Thank you. I'm glad you guys. I mean, look at his hair. Was he putting Crisco in there? Is he Big Ed? He putting mayo in there? Like, look at that. Just slick. Oh, here we go. Now, now, a, a quick little tidbit. Another quick side note. As I was saying in the beginning, I was really influenced by Cardini here. You'll notice he's, do, he's doing this, these cigarette manipulations. I, as a kid, thought it was the classiest look. I thought it looked badass, him doing all these cigarette manips. And, uh, and so I learned them. I learned the, the cigarette manips. <laughs> and, and I remember as a kid, I entered a magic contest when I was like 15 doing this manip act. Uh, the one I was talking about with, uh, with top hat and gloves and all that, right? And, um, and I had cigarettes in it. I was doing cigarette manip. And I remember asking the contest chairman, like, yo, I'm only 15. If I, I don't light the cigarettes. I don't smoke them on stage. But could I, could, would I be disqualified if I did the cigarette manip section of my act? And, uh, and the, the guy said, yep, you'll be disqualified. So, because uh, they didn't want to be promoting that sort of thing, right? And so, yeah, that's why I cut it out. And I didn't do it for about 10 more years until I put it in my current Minip Act. If you've seen it on tour, if you've seen the video of the Live from Germany uh, show at the Circus Kron, you see the, uh, the, the act, the new Minip Act that I do with the, uh, with the cigarette Minips in it. But I mean, this stuff, I'll just let this roll a little bit more and then we'll, we'll, we'll cut away and we'll get on with everything else. Look at that. I mean, he just blows his elbow, cigarette goes out. This guy was actually very uh, uh, copied. He, he was copied a lot. A lot of manipulators like this copied uh, Cardini. And still do. To this day, they still do. Now, also, those are, those are billiard balls, pool balls. Have you guys ever, like, tried? Not, not, if, even if you're not a magician, have you ever tried to hold on to billiard balls? You can't. I mean... Hubert's not even going to hold on to his rabbit balls. If you're tuning in late, you won't get it. But, I mean, look at that. Pure skill. Watch this, watch this. He's going to do the finger roll. Ah, do it. Look at that. I mean, that is... That's, that's like... That's carpal tunnel right there. That's a prescription for carpal tunnel syndrome. No drops. No drops. What? Oh! And where's the gravity? Where's the gravity? No gravity. No one cares. Um, yeah, so anyways. <laughs> there's some Cardini. Let's, uh, let's get back to our regular scheduled program. So anyways, if you guys want to look up Cardini, the man, the myth, the legend, the badass, that's Cardini. Look him up on YouTube. You can see his whole act. You can see uh, much... Uh